welcome back okay let's see what the overall energy is between you and the person on your mind the most today confusion okay total confusion i think you're both unclear on where you stand i think you're feeling unclear on where you stand because this person didn't give you the answers that you really deserved actually you deserved even if it was over some form of closure but i also feel your person is confused because of what they did to you they're not sure if you would even reply to their messages that's what i'm hearing very strong very loud would you even reply to my messages is what's coming through to me today so let us have a look at what that's about i'll just give you a quick shuffle like i said i hope you're all well thanks so much for watching and everything liking commenting subscribing i do read all your comments oh that one has come out and if you'd like a personal reading, just click on the title of the video. It's all in the description box. And also the um, free relationship report. Go check that out as well if you want to. Soul tie. Soul tie. You know, earlier I was giving my, my favourite, this is my favourite tarot deck. Out of all the ones I've got. I was giving that a really good shuffle. And two cards flew out. The lovers and the two of cups. So I shuffled a bit more and then I got the six of cups and the knight of cups. Okay, but I thought, no, I'm going to put them back in, do it from scratch. It's a soul tie. To me, those cards that came out earlier, although I did put them back in my deck, I thought, gosh, that's a lot of cups, a lot of emotion. This is a connection I feel that shouldn't have ended. Or you didn't see it ending because there was a real balance between you is you know when your eyes lock you just get each other you know each other there's no none of that anxious energy you know sometimes in relationships you can be with someone and it just you know you can't be yourself with them and you're kind of on edge a bit and you're not really sort of spewing you it's <laughs> spewing uh uk word spewing your real sort of personality across it wasn't like this it was a soul tie. I always feel connected to you. I feel they're, they're in two minds about coming forward. I will say those cards that I did put back in, um, I then saw in the future the Knight of Cups and the Ace of Wands. They're still carrying a torch for you. And I do feel that they want to offer an olive branch here. Okay, But I did see in the past with the lovers um that it was the ten of wands it was the ten of wands that came out so it's almost as if somebody made a choice here um to leave i think there was a lot of struggles a lot of uphill battles i think this person crossed your boundaries a lot i was feeling and also it was as if you were the one carrying the can as we say you were you know just literally the ten of wands all those ones on your back and, you know, when it started the relationship, it was possibly even love at first sight. But you just got this person, they got you, maybe you felt you'd known them in another life. But as the relationship progressed, I feel that you ended up taking on more and more and more of their energetic burdens, whatever they were. Okay, and you just didn't have the energy left. Okay, you didn't have the energy left at all. Um, this person I feel could have almost at some point not allowed you to grow either okay they didn't allow you to grow reflection yeah being away from you has allowed me to gain clarity you know for some of you you could have as a couple had other people's burdens that affected your relationship so for example you could have had other people's financial issues or you could have had family issues that were taking up a lot of your energy and your time that literally you ended up with the ten ones on your back and that affected the connection between you, okay? But your person feels there's a soul tie, most definitely. They've taken time to reflect Okay, this is a very, very, very deep connection with those cards. Like I said, I put them back, but I can literally remember every card in the order. You know, lovers, two of cups, six, you know, knight of cups, 
Ace of Wands. I feel this person's going to come back in. Okay, I feel they're going to come back in. Inseparable. Two peas in a pod. That's what I just heard, two peas in a pod. Unfortunately, though, I think because of all these external pressures that were put on you, um, you kind of turned on each other or possibly your person turned on you more. I think you went from seeing eye to eye to having days when it was okay and days when you were just fighting. You just, you know, days when it was balanced and days when it just tipped. There was something about all these burdens that tipped it over the edge, okay? And especially for you, especially for you, because I don't think your person gave you the truth when this ended. I think there was some cock and bull bullshit story that happened here. I don't think they faced their fears. I don't think they faced what had actually gone down here. You possibly weren't being supported enough towards the end of all of this, okay? But that is why they are nervous. This person's nervous about coming forward. They're nervous. Because you've pulled your energy back, okay? I feel they dream about you. I think they see your face. Okay, they see your face. But they are saying the love is there despite the distance. Okay, you're on this person's mind. You're in their head. They're seeing your face. They're dreaming about you. Right, let's see what the challenges are now. Okay, let's get this tarot deck out. Let's get my deck back out. Give it another good shuffle. What are the blockages, please? What's blocking this then at the moment in today's energy? Um, on, a, on a 5D level, because I believe that from my own life experience that we do communicate with each other telepathically because I know from myself what I tend to think about predominantly will reflect out at some point. So that's what I'm looking for really to see because it's all changeable. You can change any energy, but I just want to see what is blocking it ego okay what is blocking it at the moment you could be dealing with a fire sign um leo sag aries it's their energy that's been the block okay although they are reflecting they're looking back at the past okay they are literally on the edge of their seat, waiting to come forward. They want to offer the olive branch. They want to do all of those things. They know they love you. They are still stuck in their ego. There's still part of them that hasn't let go of a, almost a slight selfishness. Okay, This person can be hot-tempered. They also have... A very clear vision in life of how things are going to be. They're a real leader. Now, by leader, I don't mean they have to be, you know, a leader at work. It can, for me, I'm just trying to describe what I'm, I'm hearing, that they have some, get something in their head, okay, and that's the way they want to do it. You know, they, 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 I would say I'm reading on a fire sign, sun, moon or rising. It doesn't just have to be sun, honestly, um, because the moon is usually relating to your kind of subconscious so subconsciously if they're a fire sign um, that will be what they are almost doing without thinking if you know what I mean they're sort of not consciously being stuck in their ego but subconsciously there's something within them that their ego is almost stifling their love I just heard but they are on the edge of the seat anything else please that's blocking this at the moment Nervousness, okay. They have so much love for you, all right, it's literally overflowing, but this makes them extremely nervous and extremely tongue-tied and they're not sure what to say to you, okay? They're not sure what to say to you. There is also here with this one as well a possibility that they feel that they've left it too late, okay? They could have moved on with somebody else, if you know they have, another situation where they are tied to that, okay? But honestly, I just feel that they're not sure if you love them anymore. 
You know, some people, I've seen it so many times, will, will not make that move. They've got to get out of their ego. They've got to get off their backside, okay? They've got to put their fears aside. They are frightened that of rejection, okay? They're quite a little bit egotistical. This could be someone who can move the room, as they say. Someone who thinks that they can have anybody they want or they've got this magnetism. I really do think it's fire energy today, okay? But they've got to get out of this ego because what what I can really, really see and what I'm hearing loud and clear is I don't want pie on my face. I don't want pie on my face. They don't want you to reject them. So because they don't want you to reject them, they're doing nothing. They're just sitting, reminiscing, but doing nothing. Okay, right. Let's see what else we can get, please. Let's have the um, positives at the moment, please. Positives at the moment. Queen of Cups. Yeah, they still, they're obsessed with you. Page of Pentacles, for me, that's what it's always meant. On a positive note, they, they do feel that this connection still has something to build upon. Okay, they're still obsessed with you. They're still very focused on you. Okay, but the energy's got to change. This energy's got to change. You know, they're focused on you. They're thinking about you a lot. They're fantasizing about you a lot. But because they're fearful, they're frightened if you're rejecting them. Rejecting them out of hand, I heard. Positives. Yeah, they think, they feel that they now have the strength to take this relationship forward, okay? But I feel the positives today in this, because going right back to the beginning, for, for me this card ties in, because for me this card, a lot of the times in love relationship readings, isn't just about, oh, we're a strong couple. It is about having the emotional strength to be in a relationship, okay? To meet each other halfway. But this, can come out, and I'm really getting this, if you are in a position where you in your relationship in the past were caring for other people, and this took an emotional toll on you, okay? One of you felt that you had to sacrifice more in this relationship, caring for other people's needs than you had time to put into your own relationship. The good news here is your person now feels strong enough to meet you halfway okay strong enough to meet you halfway and not to let you i'm hearing have to carry all those burdens all right so let's just see let's get the normand out blunt offer that's too many spirit that's too many all right i've got offer yeah opening up making an announcement meeting up in a public place yeah they're going to come in with an offer okay they want to meet you um i think you might get this online to start with but i feel that they are going to contact you at some point to meet you on neutral territory i'm hearing okay it could be a cafe or ask you out for a drink or something like that all right, that's what's going to come in. It's going to be a pleasant offer. It's going to be a kind offer. It's not going to be steeped in any sort of um, underhandedness. It's just a very simple, it's going to be a surprise, but it's going to be just very simple, hey, can we talk? Can we meet up? Um, no strings, no pressure. I'd just like to see you and I'd just like to talk to you okay they're going to get out of this unfixed energy this person with those cards like I say they all flew out of this deck earlier and with these now coming out soul tie reflection inseparable they're going to come back in they are going to come back in let's get some advice for you though it is safe for you to love open your heart 
you know this again this might not be your reading please today take what resonates because i'm aware you know some people have been in narcissistic connections and that is not what this is about you know i really don't condone those i think condone is the right word i don't i don't think they're healthy really okay um heart to heart conversation yeah Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. I think really what this will be, this meeting for whoever this is today, is it will be in a public place. It's not going to be at your home. I'm not getting that. Um, I'm getting, a, I can see it, just a public place. It might even be a park or, you, you know, <clears throat> yeah, a park. You know, outside space or public place or a terrace. A patio um, that's what I'm um, that's what I'm really channeling today but that's what the meeting's about okay you get to choose always remember that whoever this is watching this today you get to choose okay it's your decision you are the operant power there's only you in your reality okay whatever you choose you want in your life that's your decision all right but they are going to offer this to you, an offer to meet up, to have a chat and honestly discuss your feelings, all right? But you definitely get to choose because the lovers was the first one, like I said, when they all flew out the deck earlier that I put back in, the lovers was the first one that came out. I thought choices and then the two of cups. So you have got the choice here. Okay, you have the choice. Let me just get some advice. There's more advice actually on this. Just to give you some advice really. Disagreements, agree to disagree. You know, that could just be you having this conversation and saying, hey, you know, it was good to chat, but I'm not fussed either way. Because some of you, I think, have had a really hard time with this person because these connections, when they end... You know, people say, well, you know, you should just be able to get over it, etc., etc. You know, it's just a person or they did this to you or they did that to you. It's not always that easy, you know, not when you've got a history. It's not, it, it, take, it takes time and you shouldn't be ever hard on yourself if it takes time. You know, even if, even if just digressing, if you've been in a narcissistic connection with a trauma bond and you're thinking, well, you know, I really should be over this by now. That really does take time because scientifically you your brain neurons have changed. Alright, but you might decide it's okay. You know, but I think that has to be the basis here. That for this to work, you have to agree to disagree but support each other. Okay, because I do feel with this card that you were carrying too much. And you weren't getting this support that you needed. Okay? You weren't getting the support that you needed from this person. Heal. Revitalise your heart. Yeah, some of you have been healing. Um, this conversation might, for some of you, just be what you, you want or you've been manifesting. Just almost to close the door on it you know everybody's circumstances are different in a general reading but i'm hearing that as well forgive the act of forgiveness releases tension yeah i am strongly for i wrap this up getting for some of you that you will meet this person you will have this conversation with this person but it will allow you to close the door okay it will allow you to close the door but for some of you, it will allow you to close the door to go into the next stage of your union with this person, okay? So, but you must always remember you have, you have the power, okay? Let's just have two of what they would say to you, if we wrap this up. I couldn't let you get close to me. So many things remind me of you. Yeah, I, I just feel they're seeing your face everywhere or your name your name, okay? I want to tell you how I feel, yeah. 
Yeah, they do. They do. Like I said, the blockage is their ego, their nervousness, their anxiousness. And this person, as much as they do love you, they do like to be right. And they have a persona, almost like an actor, actress that they present to the world. And they know they're going to have to drop this mask to come in. But I do feel they will do. Okay? I do feel they will do. So... Take good care, hope it's helped you, look after yourself, sending you a big hug, loads of love, and always remember, you're the opera power, you're on the pedestal, okay? Nobody else, you're the king, queen, or whatever of your own world. Self-concept all the way. Love you all, bye.